Liga vara makashida ya maliga de ya makashida. Lema so se koraba kapokura makashida. You're welcome in Jesus name. You're welcome to watch his prayer. Rama so se koraba kashika rando so fa liga de ya makashida. You're all welcome in the name of Jesus Christ. I want to welcome you this morning in the name that is above every other name. I welcome you in the name of Jesus Christ to watch his prayer. It's time to pray. It is what is prayer. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. You're welcome in Jesus' name. You're welcome to what is prayer. You're welcome. God bless you. Thank you for those who are connecting online. Um, I want to welcome you. I see my brother here, Tim. Thank you. You're welcome in Jesus' name. It's time for what is prayer. It's another time to pray and to connect with God. It's time for what is prayer. You're welcome in Jesus' name. You're welcome in Jesus' can you just wave your hands and bless the lord can you worship him can you exalt him give him praise give him all the glory thank you jesus thank you king of glory thank you can you worship the lord can you exalt the lord can you magnify him can you give him all the praise all the glory all the honor can you worship the lord can you just praise the lord worship him father we thank you thank you ancient of days thank you i am that i am thank you the holy one of israel Thank you, God of all flesh. Can you worship the Lord this morning? Can you exalt him? Can you bless him? Can you magnify his name? Worship him. Worship him. Father, we say thank you. Father, we honor you. To you be all the glory, Jesus. To you be all the honor, Jesus. To you be all the adoration. Be magnified, O God. Be exalted, O God. Can you worship the Lord? Can you exalt him? Praise his holy name. It's another time to pray. It's another time to connect with God. Can you worship the Lord? Can you exalt Him? Rama sheko raba kapaka rama kashidea. Leframa zoze ko raba kashikarandos. Can you worship the Lord? Worship Him in the beauty of His holiness. Can you exalt Him, magnify Him? Father, we worship You. Father, we bless You. We magnify You. We praise You, Jesus. There is none like unto You. You are the ancient of days. You are the God of all flesh. You are the Holy One of Israel. Father, we say thank you. Can somebody say thank you to the Lord? Can you bless the Lord? Bless the Lord, oh my soul and all that is within me. Can you worship him? Can you magnify his name? Give him all the glory. It's time for watch his prayer. It's time to pray. And this is the first watch. Can you worship him? Can you give him praise? Give him all the glory. Give him all the honor. Give him all the adoration. Father, we say thank you. Father, we magnify you. Be glorified, Jesus. We give you all the glory. Lord, we say thank you. To you, God, be all the glory, great things you have done. We magnify you, Jesus. We honor you, King of glory. We honor you, I am that I am. We honor you, the Holy One of Israel, the God who is, who was, and is to come. Thank you, Most High God. Thank you, God of all flesh. Be glorified, Jesus. Be exalted. Can somebody worship the Lord? It's time for watch his prayer. It's time to pray. It's time to pray. It's a time of revival, prophetic, and warfare prayers. And I'm excited because I have a message from the Lord for you this morning. I have a word from the Lord for you this morning. I have a word. Whether it's morning for you or afternoon, wherever you find yourself, I have a word from the Lord. I have a message from the Lord for you. Can you worship him? Can you exalt him? Lord, we give you praise. We give you glory. We give you honor, Jesus. Be glorified. Be magnified. Can you exalt him? Father, I say thank you. Thank you, King of glory. Thank you, Asian of days. Thank you, the Holy One of Israel. Thank you, I am that I am. Be glorified. Can you worship the Lord? Worship him. Just one minute more. Can you worship him? Can you worship him? Father, we say thank you. Be glorified, Lord. Be magnified, O Lord. Be exalted, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. We say thank you, Jesus. We say thank you, I am that I am. Can you worship the Lord? Can you exalt him? Give him praise. Give him glory. Give him honor. Thank you, most high God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Beloved of God, I want to welcome you to this time. It's time for Watch His Prayer. I want to encourage you to uh, share with your friends and family members to join and connect with us as we pray. And I'm excited this morning because of what God is said to do in our lives. 
the theme for this watches prayer is I and the children God has given me. And we're going to find that in the book of Isaiah chapter 8 and verse 18. I and the children God has given me. I and the children God has given me. And beloved, let me just do a quick sensitization before we continue in this watches prayer. Take note of some of the things I'm going to say. Number one, this watches prayer is going to be for 165 minutes. That's for two hours, 45 minutes. And we're going to have three sessions. Three sessions of watches prayer. And this first watch is going to be in English. This first watch is going to be in English. The second one, which is in about five and a half hours or six hours time, is going to be in Yoruba. But as I speak Yoruba, because some people also want to benefit from that, I'm going to make it multilingual. So uh, sometimes I speak English, sometimes I speak Yoruba, but it's going to be more of Yoruba. And then the last watch is just going to be purely in English. I want to welcome you. Thank you for connecting. I see different people connecting from the US, from the UK, from Nigeria, from Canada, yeah, from, from, from South Africa. I see some people from South Africa and Australia. You're welcome. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord will do you good in the name of Jesus Christ. So you're welcome. Thank you for connecting. Thank you for connecting. It's time for watches prayer. And it's time to pray. And the Lord will do you good in the name of Jesus Christ. Father Lord, I want to thank you this morning. Thank you for what you are set to do in the lives of everyone that is connected. Either on Facebook, on the prayer line, on the YouTube channel. Thank you for what you are set to do. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your word that will come. Thank you for the spirit of grace and supplication. Beloved of God, the first prayer point I want you to pray. I want you to ask God, Lord, release upon my life the spirit of grace and supplication. Can you pray? I say, Lord, release upon my life. Release upon me this morning, this afternoon, whatever it means for you. The spirit of grace and supplication. Can you pray? Lord, anoint me to pray today. I don't want to pray in vain. Lord, anoint me to pray. Can you pray? Can you pray? Lord, anoint me to pray this morning. Anoint me to pray this afternoon. Release grace upon me as I pray this afternoon. Release power upon me as I pray this afternoon. Release unction upon my life even as I pray this evening or this morning or this afternoon. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I receive a fresh anointing to pray. Le manje kora baka shikarando so valige there. I receive a fresh anointing in the place of prayer. I receive fresh unction to pray this morning. I receive fresh inspiration to pray this morning. I receive fresh utterance to pray this morning. I receive power to pray this morning. I receive inspiration and revelation to pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh God, you will anoint my lips of clay. Oh Lord, you will pour your grace upon my life. Oh, Lord, you release your power upon me. Can somebody pray? Somebody on the prayer line, pray. Somebody watching, somebody watching. Somebody on the prayer line, can you pray? Lord, you will anoint me to pray this morning. You will release grace upon me as I pray this morning. You will release unction upon me as I pray this morning. I refuse to pray in vain. I receive the unction to pray. I receive the power to pray. I receive the anointing to pray. In the name of Jesus, thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Beloved of God, the theme for this watches prayer is high and the children God has given me. And I'll be saying some very important things. You no, know, I some people reached out to me in the course of the week and they said to me, Why is it that all the prayers, um, the online watches prayer? It's just focused on families, home, and what have you. I bring the first word to somebody. And the person what of single sisters? What of single brothers? What of people who are yet to... I said, you are still a family in the making. And God, the Bible says, God sets the solitary in families. The Lord is going to establish your home. The Lord is going to establish your family. The Lord is going to give you a family. He's going to give you a home in the name of Jesus. So for everyone watching me, whether you're a single lady or you're a single brother, and you're saying to yourself, well, it's all about children and family. Hear ye the word of the Lord. You will say, the time will come where you will say, 
you'll be able to say that I am the children the Lord has given me. Because the Lord will give you a hope. The Lord will give you a family. The Lord will establish you. The Lord will prosper you. He will give you your children. And I have a word from God. Beloved of God. And some people are saying in their hearts, I can't say I am the children God has given me. Because God has not given me children yet. I have good news for you. I have a message for you from the Lord. The Lord will give you children. The Lord will give you a family. The Almighty will establish you. He will settle you. He will put things in proper perspectives for you in the name of Jesus Christ. So the thing for this watches prayer is hi and the children God has given me. Beloved of the Lord, I want to challenge you this morning. Every good thing, every blessing, every promise you claim in the word of God, in the scriptures, ensure that your family is included. Isaiah said in Isaiah chapter 8, Isaiah chapter 8 and verse 18 is my emphasis, but it's always good to read from the preceding verses so that you'll be able to understand the perspective where Isaiah is actually going. And I won't go and read all that this morning because I want us to begin to pray quickly, you know. But the Lord was telling Isaiah, the Lord commanded him to trust him. The Lord was telling Isaiah, take this step, do this, do that. And Isaiah did all that the Lord said to him that he should do. And he did it faithfully, he did it committedly, and he was, I mean, Isaiah did everything. He got to a point, if you read from verse 16, he says, bind up the testimony, seal up the law among the disciples. After the Lord gave Isaiah instructions to do some specific things, and Isaiah obeyed, he did those things. That the Lord asked him to do. He obeyed. He did those things that God asked him to do. And after that, the Lord said, bind them up. He said, and Isaiah said, and I will wait upon the Lord. That I let his face from the house of Jacob. And I will look for him. Isaiah said, I'm going to wait upon the Lord. And I'm going to look for the Lord. I will wait upon the master. And I'm going to look for him. I'm going to wait upon the Lord. And I'm going to look for him. Then when he got to verse 18. Isaiah made a statement. Isaiah made a declaration. Isaiah gave a word. Isaiah said something that was powerful. And that is what I want you to enforce. That is what I want you to place upon your life, upon your family, upon your home this morning. I want you to make such a statement. I want you to place that word upon you and decree it and enforce it. Look at it. Isaiah 8 verse 18. We're going to begin to pray now. He said, behold. Behold. In other words, he says, see. And hear ye the word of the Lord. For those of you connected, and you are saying in your hearts that the world has not seen anything good about my home, about my family. Or they've not seen anything good about your life. Hear the word of the Lord. Your story will change. Your testimony will change. Your experience will change. He said, Isaiah said, behold. Because the Lord is going to do it. Isaiah said, behold, I am the children whom the Lord has given me. Beloved, I want you to take note. Isaiah said, I am the children that God has given me. Hear ye the word of the Lord. It is God that gives children. It is God that sets the solitary in families. It is God that establishes a home and a family. As I said, for me, I am the children that God has given me. Beloved of God, Isaiah was a man that took responsibility for his family, for his home. If I want to paraphrase this scripture, in my own words, this is the way I will say, behold, I and the family, my children, not just my children, including my wife, and you're saying, including my spouse, including my partner. So it's not just children alone. I'm going to be, I'm going to include my family, my I am the family that God has given me. 
I hear you the word of the Lord. Thus said the Lord to you. For you and the family that God has given you. In the name that is above every other name. Every blessing that flow will touch every member of your family in the name of Jesus Christ. Every member of your family will be a partaker of the blessing. Take note of something before I, be, before I ask us to begin to pray. It says, I and the children that God, I and the family that God has given me. Beloved of God. He said, I and the family that God gave me. God gives gifts. The Bible says, every good and perfect gift comes from the Lord, from above, from the fathers of light. In whom there is no variableness, no shadow of turning. God gives gift. Every good and perfect gift comes from him. In whom there is no variableness, no shadow of turning in any way. Because every good and perfect gift comes from him. From him alone. So, is that for me and the children that God has given me, behold, God has given something to you. Are you responsible with what that which God has handed over to you? God has given you a home. He has given you a family. He has given you children. How are you nurturing them? How are you taking responsibility? How are you handling the precious gift that God has given you? What are you doing to keep and to preserve your family, your future? As I said, I am the children that God has given me. Not just the children alone. What of the career that God has given you, beloved of God? What of the ministry that God has given you? What of the mandate that God has given you? What of the future that God has given you? What of the testimony that God has given you? What will you do with it? As I said, for I am the children that God has given me. We will be for signs and for wonders. What will you do with what God has given you? What will you do with the ministry, with the gift of God upon your life? He has given you the gift of prophecy. He has given you the anointing to sing. He has given you the gift of charity to help. What are you going to do? Are you going to take responsibility or you are going to abandon it? Beloved of God, I want us to begin to pray. Because I don't always like to share much because I want us to pray and take time to pray and digest this word into our lives. Isaiah took responsibility. He said, I am the children that God has given me. I want you to pray. And the first prayer I want you to pray. I want you to cover your family and your children. I want you to say that, that Lord, I am the family, I am the children that God has given me. We will glorify your name. Can you pray? Can you pray? I am the children that God has given me. We will glorify your name. We will bless nations. We will bless nations. Can you pray? I am the children that God has given me. We will bless nations. We will be a blessing to this generation. Can you pray that prayer? Can you declare that I, you, you and the children. Can you say I am the children that God has given me? We are going to bless nations. We are going to be a blessing to this generation. I am the children that God has given me. We will touch lives. We will bless destinies. I am the children that God has given me. We will glorify the name of the Lord. I am the children that God has given me. We will fulfill divine counsel on Monday. Can somebody pray this money? Can somebody pray this money? Rama sopa rama kasoba lige de yamakashiria. Rema zoze kora baka poko rama kashiria. I am the children that God has given me. We will live our lives to glorify God. I, I am the children that God has given me. We will bless the name of the Lord of hosts. I am the children that God has given me. We will bless the name of the Lord of all. I am the children that God has given me. The Lord will keep and preserve us. I am the children that God has given me. We will be for signs and for wonder. I am the children that God has given me. We will bless nations. We will bless our community. We're going to bless generations. I am the children that God has given me. We will serve the Lord. I am the children that God has given me. We will do the will of God. Can somebody pray now? Can somebody pray? Rama sheko rama kapaka rama kashu. Lema zoze korando sofe korama kashiria. 
I and the children that God has given me, we will do mighty exploit. We will do exploit. We will do exploit in the name of Jesus Christ. I and the children that God has given me, we will do exploit in the name of Jesus Christ. I and the children that God has given me, we will do exploit. I and the children that God has given me, we will fulfill mandates. Can you pray? Can you pray that I and the children that God has given me, we will fulfill mandate in the name of Jesus. Ramasheko rabakapoko ramakashire. Le mazuze kora bakashire. Je kora bakapoko ramakashire. Le mazuze kora bakaliga da ya magazu de liga de ya. Rapozo para makashika rando zova de ya. Je kora no sofe kora makashire ya. Le mazuze kora makashire ya. I am the children that God has given me. We will do the will of God. Can you pray? Can you pray? That I am the children that God has given me. We will do his will from day to day. And from time to time. Can you pray that prayer? That I am the children that God has given me. We will do his will from day to day. And from time to time. In the name of Jesus. Thank you mighty father. In Jesus mighty name. We have prayed. Amen. The Lord. I had a word from the Lord now. The Lord says I should tell you. That for you and your children and your family, and I have this word very specific. The Lord said for you, for your children, and for your family, and for your future, you will not be lost. You will not be lost and you will not be missing. That's the word from the Lord. You Can you declare and say to yourself, hi, and the children that God has given me, we will not be lost. We will not be missing. We will not be wasted in the name of Jesus Christ. I am the children that God has given me. I am the family that God has given me. I am the career, the ministry, the mandate, the business. I am the business. I am the home that God has given me. We will not be lost. You will not be lost. You will not be missing. You will not be disappointed. You will not be discouraged. You will not be wasted in Jesus Christ. Mighty name, we pray. Amen. Beloved of God, I want you to make it your prayer now and declare, Hi, and the family. I told you, Isaiah said for him that I am the family, I am the children that God has given me. We will not be lost, we will not be wasted. Isaiah said, We are for signs and for wonders. And I'm saying for you and the children that God has given you, you will be preserved. You will fulfill divine mandates. You, for you and the children that God has given you, you will fulfill the counsel of God. You will not be wasted. You, your journey in destiny will not be cut short in the name of Jesus Christ. For you and for the children that God has given you, your journey in destiny will not be cut short in the name of Jesus. Amen. Beloved, I want you to pray. This is coming so strong to my heart that I and the children that God has given me, we will fulfill the will of God for our lives. I am the family. I am the home that God has given me. We will fulfill the will of God. Can you pray now? Beloved of God, can you pray? Can you pray? Can you declare? Can you pray that I and the children, I and the family, we will fulfill the will of the Lord. We will fulfill the will of the Lord. We will stand in the counsel of God. We will stand in the counsel of God for me and the children, for me and the family that the Lord God of all has given me. We will fulfill divine counsel. We will fulfill this mandate for our life. We will not be wasted in the name of Jesus Christ. I am the children God has given me. We will not be wasted. We will fulfill divine mandate. We will do the will of God in the name of Jesus. We will glorify God in the name of Jesus Christ. We will glorify the name of the Lord. I am the children God has given me. We will be kept and preserved by grace of God. By grace and mercy, we will be kept and preserved. I am the children that God has given me. By grace and by mercy, we will be kept and preserved. In the name of Jesus Christ, 
I have the children that God has given me. Can you make it your prayer? Can you pray? Can you pray that God, that I, can you declare, I am the children God has given me. We will be kept, we will be preserved, we will be, we will be preserved, we will fulfill divine mandate in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, mighty Father. Thank you, King of Glory. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Beloved of God, when Isaiah said, I am the children God has given me, it was a father that was thinking generationally. It was a father that was not selfish. Isaiah was not selfish. Today there are fathers that are very selfish. There are parents that are very selfish. They are just concerned about their lives. They are not concerned about their family or their children. And that's a word and a challenge to you. But Isaiah said for me, I am the children. I am the family that God has given me. Isaiah was inclusive. He included his family. He wasn't deterred about whatever people will feel and say. And can I bring a word to somebody? You don't need to be deterred. You don't need to, like he said there, you don't need to give a damn. You don't need to be disturbed about whatever anyone will say. Ensure, ensure that whatever God is doing in your life includes your family, includes your children. Ensure that your children live lives that glorify the name of the Lord. Ensure that you fulfill the will of God for your lives. Ensure that you stand for Jesus. Ensure that you stand for God. Isaiah was not selfish. We're in a generation that is so selfish and self-centered. We're in a generation of hi, 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 me, me, me. And we don't include others. But Isaiah was not like that. He said, I and the children. In other words, he said, hi and the family that God has given me. Hi and the home that God has given me. And what was this declaration? He said, we are for signs and for wonders. I want you to pray. And the prayer I want you to pray at this time is this. That I and the children God has given me will be anointed for exploits. I want you to pray that prayer. That Lord, you will anoint me. Whatever exploit, whether career exploit, educational exploit, ministry exploit, business exploit, spiritual exploit. I don't know the exploit you want to see in your family. I want you to pray and say, Lord, I and the children God has given me will be anointed for exploit. We will be anointed for exploit. We will be anointed for mighty words. Can you pray now? Can you pray? Can you pray? Can you declare, I and the children that God has given me will be anointed for exploit, spiritual exploit, career exploit, business exploit, academic exploit, a prophetic exploit. In the name of Jesus Christ, I am the children that God has given me. Can somebody pray? Oh Lord, I am the children you have given me. We are for exploit, oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Jama so se koraba kashi karanda le manso pala magaza gala bagaraba gaza ja karaba kapo korama kashi de ja karaba I have the children God has given me. You will anoint us for exploit, Lord. You will anoint us for exploit, Lord. I am the children that God has given me. My God and my Father, you will anoint us for exploit. You will anoint us for mighty works. I am the children God has given me will be anointed. Who will be anointed. Who will be anointed. Who will be chosen. Who will be covered. Who will be separated. Can you pray? Can you pray? Can you pray? And declare that I and the children God has given me will be kept, will be anointed, will be anointed for exploit, will be anointed for mighty works in the name of Jesus Christ, will be anointed for mighty works in the name of Jesus Christ, for me and the children, for I and the children God has given me 
We are anointed for expert. We are anointed for mighty works. In the name of Jesus, God. I am the children God has given me. We are anointed for expert and for mighty works. In the name of Jesus Christ, I am the children that God has given me. The, the presence of God will keep and will be upon our lives. Can you pray that prayer? That I am the children God has given me. The presence of God will be upon us. The presence of God will be upon our life. We will walk with, we will dwell in the presence of God. We will carry God's presence. Can you pray that Lord, I am the children you have given me. We will carry your mighty presence. We will carry your mighty presence to the nations, to our career, to our academics, to our ministries, to our churches, to our community, to that place where God has planted you, to that place where God has established you. Can you pray higher the children that God has given me will be anointed, will be anointed, will be anointed. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Beloved of God, I am hearing the Lord say to me clearly. The Lord is saying we should pray. Hear the word of the Lord before we pray. For you and your children, in the name that is above every other name, there will be no loss. For you and your children, you will not be wasted. I don't know why that word is coming again to me. For you, for you and the children God has given you, you will not be wasted. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will not be wasted. You will not be lost. You will not be afflicted. Uh, that's it. For you, I can you declare, can you declare, I am the children God has given me, we will not be afflicted. Can somebody declare, I am the children God has given me, we will not be afflicted. I am the children God has given me, we will not be punished. I am the children God has given me, we will not fail. I am the children God has given me. We will reach greater heights. Can you begin to pray now? Can you begin to pray now? That I am the children God has given me. We will not be wasted. We will reach greater heights. We will do mighty works. We will not be limited. Can you pray? Can you pray? And say, I am the children and the family and the home that God has given me. And for young ladies who are watching, I am the children that God will give me. Can you pray it that way? I am the family that God will give me. In the name of Jesus, we will be preserved. We will not be afflicted. Can you pray that prayer now? Make sure you are praying that prayer. That I and the children that God has given me. And if you are single lady, single brother, can you pray that I and the family, I and the children, I and the wife, I and the spouse that God will give me or he has given me but is yet to manifest. All that has manifested, but is yet to be consummated. In the name that is above every other name, I am the children that God has given you. I am the children that God has given me. No limitation. No affliction. Can you pray that prayer? Can you pray that prayer? Can you pray that prayer? We will not be limited. We will not be limited. We will not be afflicted. We will not be wasted. I am the children God has given me. No limitation. Can somebody key into that word? No limitations. No affliction, no oppression. I am the children God has given me. No limitation, no affliction, no oppression in the name of Jesus. No limitation, no affliction, no oppression in the name of Jesus. No limitation, no affliction, no oppression in the name of Jesus. No limitation, no affliction, no oppression in the name of Jesus. No limitation, no affliction, no oppression. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Beloved of the Lord, take note. When the Bible says, when Isaiah said, Hi, and the children the Lord has given me. He was talking with a sense of authority which he has over his home, which he has over his family, which he has over his children. Whether the children of Isaiah were aware or not, Yes, I'm sure they were aware. If you read that passage from verse 1, talking about Mahal, Shalahashbash, and other children, you know, and like that. But Isaiah declared that I 
and the children whom the Lord has given me are for signs and wonders. And I want to say something quickly. The Bible says they are for signs and wonders. Not sign, but plural, signs. Not just a sign, but signs. Bible says they are for signs and for wonders. Not just wonder. I am as a wonder to many. Not just sign, but signs. Not just wonder, but wonders. Can I ask you a question? What do you want you and your children to be for? What do you want people to know you for in your family? I bring a word to someone. Whatever negative identity is on your family, in the name that is above every other name, it is cancelled in the name of Jesus Christ. Now we're going to make it our prayer. I want you to pray. Every negative identity on my family, let the fire of the Lord remove it. I wipe you off by the blood of Jesus. Can you pray now? That every negative identity, every satanic identity, every negative identity in the spirit realm, and even in the physical realm, that your family is known for, can you wipe it off by the blood of Jesus? Can you cleanse it by the blood of Jesus? That every negative identity is removed. Every negative identity, can you remove it now? Can you come against every negative identity? For Isaiah, he, Isaiah and his family were known for signs and for wonder. Your family will not be known for destruction. Your family will not, will not be known for evil things. Your family will not be known for become for being a social, a social misnomer in the society. Your family will not be known for social vices. Your family will be, not be known for trouble in the community. Can you pray? Can you pray? That Lord Almighty, I come against every negative identity. Every ungodly identity I reject in the name of Jesus Christ. Can you reject every ungodly identity? Can you reject every satanic identity? Can you reject every evil identity in the name of Jesus Christ? I reject every evil identity. Can you pray for yourself? Pray for your home now. Can you pray, Lord, that our identity will not be negative? Our identity will not be an identity of evil, a negative identity, an identity of reproach and affliction. My family will not be known for evil signs. My family will not be known for demonic signs. My family will not be known for negative signs. In the name of Jesus Christ. Can you declare that I am the children God has given me? We refuse to have a negative identity. We refuse to have a, an evil identity. We refuse to have an identity of destruction. In the name of Jesus Christ. Can somebody pray? Can somebody pray? That I and the family that God has given me, we reject negative identity. We receive a positive identity. We receive a glorious identity. We receive an identity that will bless nations. In the name of Jesus Christ. We receive an identity that will glorify lives. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Hear ye the word of the Lord. For you and the family, the children, the home, the family, the children, the home that God has given you, you will be for signs and for wonders in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, there are a lot of examples here, but let me share one with you. Beloved of God, David, as a king, as a prophet, as a man, had different children, several children. Some were for signs and wonders, and some were for reproach. Some of them were for signs. Some of the children of David did great things, but some were for reproach. I want you to pray. And take authority this evening, this afternoon, this morning, whatever, this night, whichever one is applicable to you. And decree that Lord, every sign, every of the sign and the wonders that is yet to be manifested and revealed 
in my family. Can you, be, can you begin to call them forth? Can you mention the names of your children? Mention the name of your family and begin to call forth good signs. Can you begin to call forth wonders? I will tell you what signs and wonders means later. Can you begin to call them forth? Can you begin to call them forth? Can you begin to pray that my family will be known for good signs? My family will be known for great academic signs. My family will be known for wonders. My family will be known for amazing, amazing things. My family will be known for amazing for, for amazing grace, amazing exploit in the name of Jesus Christ. Can you begin to pray now? Can you pray now? Can you pray now? Can you pray now? Can you begin to call forth the signs you want to see in your life? Can you begin to speak forth the signs and the wonders you want to see in your home, in your career, in your family, in your community? Can you begin to call forth? Can you begin to decree the signs you want to see in your children? Can you begin to pray for? Can you begin to command and decree that these are the signs I want to see concerning my children, concerning my family, concerning my partner, concerning my wife, concerning my husband? Can you begin to call them forth now? Can you begin to call them forth? The signs of greatness. What are the wonders you want to see in your family? Can you begin to pray them for now? Can you mention the names of your children? For David, for Daniel, prophetic signs, academic signs, signs of good character, signs of good home training, signs of well good home training, signs of signs of good morals and character, signs of great academic exploit, signs of exceeding wisdom. In the name of Jesus Christ. Can you begin to call forth the signs you want to see in your family? You want to see in your home? In the name of Jesus Christ. Can you begin to call them forth? Can you begin to speak them forth now? In the name of Jesus Christ. Can you begin to call forth those signs? Can you begin to speak forth those signs? In the name of Jesus Christ. Signs of elevation. Signs of promotion. Signs of rest. Signs of prosperity, signs of godliness, signs of righteousness in the name of Jesus. Can you begin to decree the kind of signs you want to see in your family? The signs you want to see in your home? The signs you want to see in the lives of your children? Can you begin to decree? Can you begin to decree them? Can you begin to decree them in the name of Jesus Christ? The kind of signs you want to see. I am the children God has given me. We are for positive signs and not for negative signs. We are for signs of greatness and signs of honor. I am the children, I am the family that God has given me. We are for signs of greatness. We are for signs of godliness. We are for signs of purity. We are for signs of righteousness. We are for signs of creativity and innovation. Hey! Can you pray now? Can you pray now? The kind of signs begin to decree now. Pray for your children. Pray for your spouse. Pray for your partner. You are a young lady. You are a single lady. Or you are a single man. You are not married. Put your hand on your stomach and begin to prophesy that the seed that will come out of you will be for signs of goodness, signs of greatness. Can you pray for yourself now? Can you pray for your life now? Can you pray for your future? Can you pray for your home? Can you pray for your family members? Can you pray for your loved one? Can you pray for everything that God has blessed you with? Can you speak to everything that God has given you that you are for signs and for wonders? Positive signs, glorious signs, signs of good things, signs of honor, signs of honor in the name of Jesus Christ. I am the children. We are for miracles. We are for awesome things. We are for amazing things. I am the children that God has given me. We are for great signs. We are for godly signs. We are for creative signs. We are for innovative signs. 
We are for referential signs. Signs that will be a reference. Oh Lord. Lema Shekora Makashide. Lika Zosekora Makashide. Lika Zosekora Makashide. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Beloved, I want to decree. I want to pray. I want to decree. Hear in the word of the Lord. For you and for your home. I decree concerning you. I decree concerning the children God has given you. You are going to be for signs. You are going to be for wonders. I decree concerning you and your home. Concerning you and the children God has given you. In the name that is above every other name. You are going to be for positive signs. You are going to be for glorious signs. In the name of Jesus Christ. For you and the children God has given you. The signs and the wonders, the signs first that the world will see about you concerning you and your children will be glorious signs in the name of Jesus Christ. Will be positive signs in the name of Jesus Christ. There will be amazing signs in the name of Jesus Christ. There will be good signs in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Beloved of God, take notes. Isaiah said, I and the children that God has given me. I'm bringing this word again. God has given you those children. Hear me very well. God will give you those children. God will give you those grand glorious grandchildren for grandmas who are on the line who are connected. God will give you glorious children and you will be for good signs. You will be for positive signs. You will be for glorious signs. You will be for mighty signs. You will be for honorable signs. Can you take note of those words? God, you, for you, for you, for you, and the children and the home. Actually, for not just you, your life. When I say you now, when I say hi now, your career, your ministry, your business, your academics, your vocation that God has given you. Take note, number one, you are going to be for good signs. Thank you, Sister Nico. Number two, you are going to be for glorious signs. Glorious signs. Number three, you are going to be for honorable signs. Honorable signs. Signs that are honorable. And hear the word of the Lord. God is going to make you enviable signs. You are going to be for positive signs. You are going to be a sign. Enviable signs. Prosperous signs. May the Lord make you and your home. Signs of the blessedness of the Lord. Honorable signs. Glorious signs. Good signs. Mighty signs. Positive signs. In the name of Jesus Christ. You are not going to be a sign of waste. You are not going to be a sign of limitation. The Lord will make your home, your family, for you, your career, everything you stand to represent. You are going to be for prosperous signs. You are going to be signs, godly signs. God is going to make you godly signs. Prosperous signs, godly signs, glorious signs, mighty signs, positive signs. In the name of Jesus Christ. The signs that will be identified with your family will not be signs of sickness and reproach. Will not be signs of limitation. Will not be demonic and evil signs in the name of Jesus Christ. Positive sign. Can somebody, can you receive those words? Can you receive those words? For you and your children, the Lord will make you positive signs. The Lord will make you prosperous sign. The Lord will make you honorable signs. The Lord will make you godly signs. The Lord will make you mighty signs 
and the area there, the Lord will make you beautiful signs in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord will make you enviable signs. Signs that will be a reference for other families. Signs that will be a reference to other people everywhere. Signs that will be a reference of things to come. In the name of Jesus Christ. Take note. I and the children that God has given me. He said, we are for signs and for wonders. I want to say this, hmm, and it's very important, Elama Shikri. What is a sign? You know, when there is a sign somewhere, people see it. If you look behind me, there is a sign here. There is a sign behind me here. This says revival. May the signs that will show forth in your family, the signs of revival, I know the people on the prayer line may not be able to look and see what I'm seeing. But when you see signs, signs as you see signs, when you see a sign, you, they are evidence, they are testimonies. And that, I'm, going to, I'm going to emphasize that one. A sign is an evidence, is a testimony. And this month of May, the Lord will give you great signs, prophetic evidences. Great testimonies, beautiful signs, wonderful signs, glorious testimonies, great testimonies. The Lord will give you amazing testimonies in the name of Jesus Christ. For, for you know, when you there's something we call a sign board. A sign points direction for some signs. When you see them, they give direction. When you see a sign, for example, this sign behind me, this is revival, this is prophetic, this is warfare, this is prayer fellowship. Signs are readable by people. When people see signs, they know it, they read it. That's why Isaiah started in verse 18. He said, behold, behold, see, see. Hear in the word of the Lord. This month of May, this year 2019, the world will see good things concerning your family in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord will see signs and wonders, signs that God has favored you. Hear the word of the Lord. Can you pray? Lord, give me signs of favor. Give me signs of favor. Give me signs of favor. Signs of favor. Signs of favor. In the name of Jesus. I am the children that God has given me. I am the home, the family. I am the home, the family that God has given me. Lord, you give us signs of favor. Signs of your favor. Signs of your goodness. Signs of your greatness. Signs of your blessings. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord will give you signs of goodness, signs of greatness, signs of blessings in the name of Jesus Christ. Hear this. Your testimonies are coming. The next time people will look into your home and your family, they will see great things. When people make reference to your family, they will see unprecedented, uncommon blessings, uncommon favor. Uncommon glory, uncommon righteousness, uncommon godliness in the name of Jesus Christ. Beloved of God, hi, and the children, hi, and the home that God has given me will be signs that people will make a good reference, prophetic reference, references that people say, Wow, are you looking for a good sign? Go to that family. And it will be enviable. And the Lord is bringing this word to my heart. There is somebody on the prayer line. There is someone watching live. And there are some people that will yet watch this video after now. God says I should tell you. That you have seen signs in the dream. But it has not come to reality. The Lord says I should tell you. That you are moving into a season. 
when the signs you saw, the signs of answer prayers will become visible, will become a reality in the name of Jesus Christ. Those signs you have seen, there will be actualization. There's going to be a performance. You have seen it in the dream. There will be a performance. The things you have seen, the things you have been told, but you have not been able to see them. You have heard of them. You have the feel of the signs. You heard of those signs. You have the feel. You sense the signs, but you cannot see the signs. Hear the word of the Lord. You will not only sense the sign, you will see the signs. You will see the signs. Hmm. You will not sense the signs. You will see them with your eyes. In the name of Jesus Christ. He says, in, he says, we see not our signs. You will see those signs in the name of Jesus Christ. You will not feel the signs. You will not only feel the signs. You will touch them. You will touch the signs. You will touch them. You will undo them in the name of Jesus Christ. For those of you feeling blessed, waiting on the Lord for the fruit of the womb, you will touch them. You will undo them. You are sensing, but you will see them come to pass in the name of Jesus Christ. Are you sensing the sign that your job has come? You will not only sense it, you will see the letter of your employment in the name of Jesus Christ. Are you sensing that your healing has come? No! That season has stopped now. You will touch, you will undo it in the name of Jesus Christ. Are you just having an internal feeling that it is done? There is going to be a practical evidence and testimony that it is done in the name of Jesus Christ. Hear the word of the Lord. Are you sensing in your body that you are healed? And you are feeling, and you are saying, well, I feel like I'm healed. You will see that you are healed. Because the things you have not been able to do before, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, you will begin to do those things. In the name of Jesus Christ. Are there family members you are praying for? Are you sensing that there is peace in your family, but you cannot see the reality? The peace you need in your family, in your home, will come in the name of Jesus Christ. Hear the word of the Lord. You are seeing those signs in the dream, but they will come to pass in the name of Jesus Christ. Hear the word of the Lord, somebody. And you're saying, well, I'm sensing it. I'm sensing it. That God has done it. You will not just sense. You won't feel it. Just feel. Just internal, emotional. Not emotions now. There's going to be a reality. You will touch it. You will undo it. You will hold it. Can somebody decree? I will touch it. I will undo it. I will hold it. You will undo your children. You will carry your children. You will carry that testimony. You will carry your evidence. You will carry your testimony. Can you pray now? Can you pray now? I will carry it. I will touch it. I will undo it. I will hold it. I will carry it. That employment, the document you are trusting God for, the papers, the immigration papers you are trusting God for. You will touch it. You will handle it. You will hold it in the name of Jesus Christ. That, that, that endorsement you are waiting for. That blessing you are waiting for. The money you are waiting for. The documents you are waiting for. You will touch them. You will handle them. You will hold them in the name of Jesus Christ. The fruit of the womb you have been praying for. The blessings you have been praying for. The, the God, you will touch them. You will undo them. because You will have the evidences and the testimonies. In your hands, on your hands. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, here, because signs are evidences. And here it is. 
as we conclude this first watch, because I know our time has gone now, the sign, the evidence, the testimony of answered prayers, before we connect the next watch, you will have them in the name of Jesus Christ. You are sensing that a phone call is coming. You are sensing that the email is coming. You will see it. You will receive it in the name of Jesus Christ. Because signs are evidences, are testimonies. Hear the word of the Lord. Are you sensing that the power of God is flowing through you for mighty exploits? Are you sensing a revival going on in your life, in your spirit? After this watch now, you begin to see yourself pray. The anointing to pray will rest upon you. You won't just be sensing it internally. The anointing, it will be real in the name of Jesus Christ. Are you sensing that God wants to use you for mighty miracles and wonders? Hear the word of the Lord. The evidences, the testimonies, the realities will come to pass in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you. Father, we worship you. Father, we exalt you. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Beloved of God, our time is up. One hour has come. And it's, our time is up now. And I know that uh, I want us to keep the time, you know, as much as possible. Thank you for connecting. I appreciate everyone that has connected. We're going to meet in the next five hours. But take note, the next five hours is going to be multilingual. I'm going to flow in both English and Yoruba language. It's supposed to be mainly in Yoruba, but because some people have been saying, oh, we just want to be also be a part of it. So it's going to be English and Yoruba. I'll flow in the two by the grace of God. So invite your friends. Ask people to connect and be a part of this watches prayer. And the Lord will do you good in Jesus' name. Take note. Remember, as you go, I and the children that God has given me, you and the children and the family, the home that God has given you, you are for signs and for wonders in Jesus' name. Thank you for connecting and God bless you. See you in the next five hours. God bless. Thank you. Thank you for connecting.